Hey brothers and sisters, Groom777 here. Uh, today I just want to touch on the gospel. Simple, clear, straight to the point. There is so much confusion about what the gospel is and it shouldn't be that way. And, uh, and let's just start off with scripture here with Romans uh, 3.23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Verse 24, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Now, I hope you caught that. It's His redemption. It's not my redemption. It's not your redemption. There's no good works that we can do here. Christ done it all. Um, you know, the problem comes in with this Mr. Babylonian church of... Uh, the Catholic Church and uh, <clears throat> so many people think that Peter is this first Pope and it's not true uh, there's nowhere in scripture that Peter was ever even in Rome uh, Peter didn't even go to the Gentiles he was uh, sent to the Jews I mean none of it makes sense they just twist scripture they want to make what they want to make out of it they make a mess out of us what they do. But we can make this very easy. We can believe the gospel. We can rightly divide the gospel to where the gospel makes sense. And when the Bible really started changing my life, <clears throat> I had read it for years and years and years. And it was just stories to me in a sense. But until I could understand to rightly divide the scriptures. Then that's when I was able to apply scripture and then things really started to change. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still have problems in my own life and as a Christian you will too. But as a Christian, you know, don't worry about cleaning your life up first. Believe the gospel. Get saved. God will change you. And, uh, then you go from there. But we have to rightly divide. This is so important. And people miss this. Uh, you know, and I hate to expose people. But whenever I hear these preachers saying, if uh, your church ain't teaching Bible prophecy, then you need to leave. Just get out of there. It's wrong. Uh, you got to be teaching Bible prophecy. Well, the way I read it, the Jews are the ones who look for signs, and guess what they are? Unbelievers. And uh, according to Romans sixteen twenty five, which is a very crucial verse to me, it says, "Now to, to him that's being God, that is the power to establish you, not establish, but establish you, according to my gospel." That was given to Paul by the risen Lord Jesus Christ. And the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Which was kept secret since the world began. And uh, you know we can do another video some other time on uh, uh, the revelation of the mystery. Basically, Jew and Gentile can be one body. There's there's many points to the mystery, but that's the big one. And uh, another one is First uh, Corinthians fifteen fifty one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed okay another thing I want to hit on here is uh, the word repentance um, repentance has two different meanings you know and you'll have two different sides you'll have the left or whatever you want or the right whatever you want to say who say that repentance only has one meaning and it's only um, Golly sorrow, or you'll have the other side that says it's only a change of mind. Uh, they're both wrong. Uh, repentance has many meanings. You just have to read it in its context. Um, 
You can read through the scriptures. God actually repents. He changes his mind. Okay, not that he did anything wrong. Now, I don't want to be called a heretic for saying that, but that's what the word says. God can change his mind, and he has, you know. <clears throat> but uh, I want to read here some Ephesians for you. Ephesians is a beautiful book. Uh, Paul says in Ephesians 3, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if you have heard of the dispensation of grace of God, which is given me to you, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. And that's a correlation of First Corinthians 4, one, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. Yeah as it is now revealed unto the holy apostles and the prophets by the Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Wherefore, I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual work of his power unto me who I am least than least of all saints in his grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches in Christ wow <clears throat> and to make all men see here's the key people here is our duties as ambassadors here on earth and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ. And uh, you will not find the revelation of the mystery nowhere in the laws, the Psalms, or the prophets. It had to be hid. It was given to Paul by the risen Lord Jesus Christ because if Satan would have known the revelation of the mystery, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. you got to remember this. And this this changes everything. And, you know, I used to be scared of this, too. You know, listen to certain pastors who I won't name. Try and tell me dispensation's wrong. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're not a dispensational believer, I really worry about you. Because uh, you got some messed up views. You're, you're going to come into contradictions. And the Bible don't have contradictions. But, you know, Paul just said right there, a dispensation was given to me. And I've heard these preachers say, well, I believe in dispensation. It says dispensation. But they can't tell you what it means. They can't even tell you what rightly divide, what you rightly divide. What do you rightly divide? You rightly divide mystery from prophecy. And it's very crucial. And we are to teach Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery. Now, if you want to teach him according to prophecy, that's fine. But let's teach him according to the revelation of the mystery first. Let's get that down. Let's help all see the fellowship of the mystery before we go any further. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed into the day of redemption. Hey, guys, God bless. And I hope this is a blessing to someone out there. Read your Bible, Romans 2, Philemon, for today. And read the whole Bible. Thank you. And God bless.